At one point in time, there were less than 1,300 human beings on planet Earth. I know, like me, you're probably questioning, how? Well, let me explain. Today, geneticists analyze DNA from thousands of people across the world. But not all of this is just about common ancestry. In 2023, researchers using a method called FITCO found a signal in some of our genes. A prolonged drop in population size between 930 and 815,000 years ago. And this wasn't a local event. No, this was global. And what's crazy is it lasted 100,000 years. FITCO is a statistical tool that allows us to reconstruct human population sizes based on patterns in genetic mutations. It analyzes something called the site frequency spectrum. This is how often different mutations occur in modern genomes. Now, instead of simulating millions of different scenarios, Fitkel calculates probabilities for each moment in time. Fitkel splits the past into millions of tiny time intervals. Think of it as a like month by month snapshots. It calculates for each interval how likely it is that modern human lineages would have merged in the past. It's called coalescence. Now, based off how often those mergers should have happened under different population sizes, Fitco reconstructs the most likely population history that would have led to what we are today. It revealed a sharp, prolonged drop, a bottleneck, not caught by older methods. At one point in time, there were less than 1,300 human beings on planet Earth. And the genetic data lines up with a mystery in the fossil record. Because between 950 and 650,000 years ago, human fossils in the record are rather rare. What if it wasn't an accident? What if it was a clue? This period coincides with extreme climate change. Glaciations intensified, Africa experienced significant droughts. With food chains collapsing, many species, including humans, faced extinction. Then around 813,000 years ago, after a 100,000 year hiatus, humans started to rebound, and rapidly. And the big question is why? Some researchers say early use of fire was one of the reasons. It also suggests new tools and social behaviors may have been lifelines. Whatever the cause, humans survived, Barely. Today, we're over 8 billion people, but our DNA still has an imprint of that ancient collapse. A genetic echo, a time where we almost didn't make it. Now, where did those 1300 people survive? Where did they go? How did they do it? Maybe we'll never know. Maybe we'll find out in the next video.